Hello friends, it's good to see you guys again. Gonna give you guys the more advanced tutorial for the scoring system in Future Tone. So you can get the edge over your buddies or other online players and whoop their asses basically. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll explain in depth the uh, online system and some strategies you can use. This is, uh, this tutorial is basically if you already watched my controller uh, tutorial so you know how to do the basics if you haven't watched that yet I would recommend watching that first so you understand the, the gameplay uh, the mechanics of this future tone compared to the other Project Diva games before you bother watching uh, this tutorial here I'm also uh, again I'm doing this in one take sorry about that guys if I make any mistakes let's, uh, let's hope I just do this in one go <laughs> So that's no problem. All right, so I'll break this down in a few sections. Uh, first, let me introduce to you the online ranking. Hopefully, I don't spend too long doing this. So the cool thing about the future tone that they added is the online rankings. And in the past, this was never a thing. This has always been a thing with the arcade, and luckily, uh, they brought it over. It is uh, region locked, so if you have the Japanese version, obviously, you're only going to see the rankings from other Japanese. Uh, players that play on the Japanese copy of the game. People that bought the Asia version, although it was cheaper, unfortunately, the rankings were split from the Japanese uh, rankings, so you don't actually get to compare with most of the people that bought the uh, Japanese version. And uh, from what I've seen in the uh, uh, amount of players that recorded their scores on the Asia version, it's nowhere near in comparison to the Japanese version. I don't know if the English version is going to be more popular, that'll be interesting to see. But uh, let's go ahead and have a look here. So it's kind of split into two sections. The first section is the high score for the songs. You can only uh, view the scores for hard and extreme, or extra extreme, about, about the same thing. So unfortunately for you players that uh, want to try and compete in normal and easy, that's not going to be possible. Unless you manually uh, just like show them a screenshot or your friend's score, but uh, in terms of built into the game, you can't uh, compete in normal and easy. Only hard and up. And the way that it works is it's strictly for the points. That's how this uh, system works. It has nothing to do if you got a perfect or not. Just about the points. That's it. You can sort it by uh, categories, like just show your friends in your PSN list. So that's really cool. You can see. Well, the people that you want to try and compete against or you can just view the all and see how you are overall in the global ranking but uh, because of the game mechanics in this game I'm gonna go into more detail how you can get the maximum points and the reason why a perfect most of the time for these songs would not be the best uh, choice to get high rankings in the game and I know a lot of people they really hate that they, it makes no sense to them like I got perfect, why is my perfect worse than this guy who has the excellent? Well, this could have been all fixed and changed to that type of ranking had they made a requirement that the first is the order of the rankings, such as first a perfect you know, goes to the top, and then everything uh, from the worst perfect then becomes the best excellent. Had they have done that, then this whole system would have been a lot different. But because they didn't, they only care about the points, then most of the scores that you see here is not a perfect, it's actually excellent. Sometimes even a great. Not for this one though, this one you actually gotta get perfect. Because <laughs> this is a common world domination. But uh, for like the ABC song right here, this one uh, you don't get a perfect, that's an example. Same thing with um, the happiness and committee song, you don't get a perfect on that one. Uh, I'm gonna actually demo this one too because I got a recording so I can uh, show you what I'm talking about here. So, but yeah, that's the online ranking. Uh, the next part is you, uh, well, the game first of all is split into two bundles. It's called Future Sound, it gives you like 100 something songs, and then Colorful Tone, which gives you the other 100 something songs. If you buy the $55 bundle uh, when it comes out in English in January 10th, you'll get both of these, and then that's 224 songs. But uh, in the game, they still split it up, whether it's a future sound uh, song or if it's a colorful tone song. And for this one, this one is a little bit different. This is just the average of your percent for your uh, entire songs in this category. Your name will only show up here 
Uh, actually, no. Your name shows up here, even if you don't play every song. But because I didn't play every song, my, as you can see, my average is only uh, 85%. Oh, that's for hard. Okay, yeah, it's even worse for extreme. I only have 84.9%. That's because I have a bunch of songs that are actually didn't perfect, so it's gonna add 0% to my average and making it uh, super low, as you can see here. So I'm ranked 450. But uh, for percent, it's a little bit different. Your percent is actually based on the cools that you get and how, how much holds you can get and also the sliders. So in general, I believe if you were to do a whole song without doing one slider and without doing one whole note and you just get a full combo with a perfect, all cools, that's exactly 100%. The rest left over is a combination of the holds, the sliders, and the uh, uh, and the cools, basically. Granted, most people aren't gonna get all cools, but uh, that's because that's the reason why some songs it's really easy to get like 105 percent because there's so many sliders in the song that you can really boost up your percent. There is a cap though, but it is possible, I believe, to get about 106 plus percent. It's not possible for 107. But 106% plus is definitely possible, as I uh, have that on Meltdown, uh, Extra Extreme, because there's a lot of sliders and then I did uh, only one find on that one. But uh, yeah, this is to compare your averages. So this one's a little bit different, uh, which uh, I'll show you the difference again, how you can, uh, what it's like if you play the song perfect and versus if you don't play it perfect. Okay, but let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, how the point system work. Let me put up my video here. In one second. All right, here we go. So for this one, let me double check. Yes. So this is the Happiness and uh, Committee song on Extreme. And for this particular recording, I've recorded the entire song the proper way for the maximum points. In Japanese, they call this the score attack. So if you ever see score attack, well, they usually write it in Japanese. For my videos, I'll write it in English. But if you ever see the word score attack, that's what it means. It's uh, you're not aiming for the perfect. You're just aiming for the highest points possible. For this particular song, it's uh, a requirement for 15 of the notes. You have to hit it wrong on purpose, and then the rest you try and get the, as many cools as you can. So let's have a look here in the intro. Show you what it's kind of like. Uh, just for your uh, knowledge too, in the month of December, I'll pretty much upload one video that's a score attack every single day, so you can get a heads up. Uh, studying or learning to see uh, the songs and how you are uh, supposed to play it for the maximum score. Again, this tutorial is for only the players that actually care about the online ranking. If you don't care about that whatsoever at all, you, you can just exit this tutorial right now. It doesn't. It's not going to help you if you don't care about it. This is just strictly for the players that actually want to boost their rankings up. So let's go ahead and have a look. This one is what I would say a mediocre to medium hard. Uh, score attack song. Some songs are a lot easier than others because there's only like one or two spots that you have to uh, know and memorize. But I believe for this song, there's about eight or nine sections of the song that you gotta memorize. So that's a, a bit more. So there's a few ways of, uh, techniques for score attack. Let me first show you here. So in case you uh, go a little refresher, uh, since for some of you guys, it's gonna be playing Future Tone for the very first time when it comes out in English. This is the hold system and Future Tone. So very similar to how in uh, F second and F you got the little note and then there's a long line you gotta hold it and let go at the right time. This one's a little bit different. This one, as long as you stay holding to this uh, button right here, there will be a point that uh, starts counting up and it's your bonus points for holding that note as long as you can. So as you can see here, while I'm holding on the X, the it's right now it's a single bonus. The points start racking up, and you can combine it with other notes. If it's uh, just a single note. It caps out at about 3,000, I believe. Um, a little bit more than 3,000 because they modified the uh, scoring system after they updated, so it's a little bit different than the arcade now. But uh, give or take about 3,000 points. And once you hit the maximum, there'll be a burst of points that you get for hitting maximum. And this is the main reason why many of the songs, a perfect will not beat the score attack methods because of these bonus points that you get from the holds. All because of this. So it's because of this that we have to play a little bit more specific to get the maximum uh, bonus points. Luckily for the Japanese arcade players, they pretty much, you can find them randomly on Nico Nico. sometimes on YouTube they have Japanese websites too that tell you the best paths and routes. 
but I'm just gonna try and simplify it and then each song that I do I'll just uh, upload on my uh, playlist on my YouTube uh, labeled score attack so you guys can have a look at that uh, in the near future but uh, let's continue on so we got an X hold again if you watch my tutorial you understand why I'm holding down this trigger I have macroed four quad notes onto either trigger so that rather than having to hold down the X or the D-pad I can just simply hold my trigger and play like normal so again, please, I recommend watching my controller tutorial so you understand the reason why I'm doing that. So we play like normal, so there's a circle, now there's a double, so the points will keep going up. But we still play like normal. Now right here, normally if you were to get the full combo, you would hit the X, but unfortunately, when you hit the same note in your combo bonus right here, it will interrupt it and stop it. And then that's the maximum points that you get. We lost out on a lot of uh, bonus points had we were able had we been able to reach maximum bonus points. So in this scenario right here, it's actually better uh, to get the max bonus on this hold rather than to get a full combo of that X. So because of that, I'm gonna on purpose hit the wrong note here so that I don't break my uh, bonus here. As you can see, I don't know if you saw, I hit a triangle, so I get the wrong, so I'm gonna hit a triangle here too. Okay, and then as you can see, there's another triangle hold note here. Had I uh, not have broken that, this would have broke the whole double uh, bonus, and then I would have started off with a single triangle bonus. But because I purposely hit the X's uh, incorrectly, I can continue my hold bonus here, and pair it up and make it into a triple. And we're going to continue on. Square is the only note right now I'm allowed to hit, so square. So same thing, can't hit X's or circles. The easiest way I would do this is to just continually uh, hitting a square. Makes it easier on the brain when you're playing this. So just hit a bunch of squares, and we can keep this triple hole bonus. Now, sometimes we can uh, attach the the fourth note to make it into a quadruple, and then hopefully that's uh, there's uh, enough spacing afterwards to reach the quadruple to the maximum bonus. Obviously, when you have a quadruple uh, bonus, it takes the longest time to reach the maximum uh, points. So in this scenario right here, we're not going to do that. It's better to just get the uh, triple to a maximum bonus. So how can we do that? We would uh, hit the first square, that's allowed, because there's no square here. But we're gonna not even touch the square at all. We can't push any of these buttons either, because if I push any of these buttons or hit the square, it will break this combo. So I just have to simply let the note just fly across it and uh, miss it completely. So you can see I got a worse there. Instead of a wrong, just don't touch it at all. And just before we get to this X and O, you'll see that this triple bonus uh, just reaches its maximum bonus. There it is, max hold bonus. That's what you want to see here. So just in time, see, isn't the Japanese players amazing? They figure all this stuff out and calculate it so that it's like the maximum points that you can get. So because of that, we got the triple bonus up to 1,700 points, plus we got a little bonus of 5,000 points almost from uh, getting it to maximum, and we continue on like normal. So this is an example in many, many songs that uh, why getting the uh, score attack method is worth way more points than just getting a full combo perfect. This is the first strategy. The second strategy is something called hold switch, which we'll, uh, we'll show you uh, real soon. Uh, another, uh, just another kind of heads up for you guys. Most of the eight stars and up the score attacks are not too bad, not too many places you gotta really memorize, except for just a few songs. However, if you're a fan of playing 7 star, or you know, the 7.5 star, the easier songs, though, and you wanna have a high rankings in those ones, unfortunately for pretty much 95% of all those songs, they have the most um, score attack. Meaning you gotta memorize the most sections in each part of the song, to know exactly what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Making them actually more work to get the uh, proper score attack than just getting a regular perfect. So if you're a fan of those, um, especially the slow songs, because the notes are so slow, there's so many like different ways that you can uh, sacrifice the notes to get the maximum whole bonuses. Those are the most uh, pain in the butt to master. So hopefully you're ready for that if you uh, do care about the online rankings and you're uh, not uh, too comfortable playing the harder charts and you just want to stick to the uh, easier ones they're actually it, it's doable but it takes a lot more memorization so be prepared for that <laughs> which is why you uh, rarely see me upload the uh, easier songs not because they're easy 
Well, that too. I don't like playing the uh, slower songs, but they also take a lot more work if I wanted to uh, get a really high score on them. So that's the first one. We have to uh, sacrifice notes for the bonuses. Again, in all my videos, I'll write down step by step in the description, uh, including for this song, at what uh, point in time in the video do you need to do what, so you can uh, go in practice mode and uh, memorize them all, making your life easier. So right here, this is called the hold switch. So normally we can, actually no, sorry, not this part. My bad. So we're just gonna continue here. Just ignore that. We're playing like normal. All right, right here. So most of the time when people play the songs uh, for the first time, uh, whenever you see the hold notes, you would pair them up, right? So I see the square. I would hold the square. I see the X hold and it's. You know, circle hold, so your natural instinct would be to just continue the holds because, you know, triple bonus, that's better, right? Not in this case, unfortunately. So we start off with the square hold. Now, rather than pairing up the X with the square, just before this X uh, lands on that, I'm going to quickly let go of the square and start a new combo with the X. As you can see, I let go of the square right before it hits. And I start off a new combo with the X, and I pair it up with the circle. So why did I do that? As you can see here, what's the next notes coming up? We have a triangle, that's okay, but we have a square. Had we had held that square note, so right now, let's pretend that we did hold that square note. It would have been square, X, circle for a triple bonus, right? So the bonus would be racking up right now. But it wouldn't last very long, because as soon as we get to that square and we tap it, the combo breaks, it's over. So that's why sometimes in some songs, or most of the songs, you also have to understand why, when to hold switch, which is another major uh, section to uh, score attacking. Some songs, uh, it is indeed a perfect, but you still need to understand when to switch the holds right here, like in this example, so that you can get the best perfect possible. So that's another thing that you gotta take note of. But see, now that we uh, had sacrificed the square uh, hold bonus and started off of uh, X and O, we can pair it with this triangle right here, and then pair it with the four square uh, for this uh, uh, example right here. And this yields a lot more points had we, in the beginning, paired up the square with the X and circle, then broke it up at the square right here and started a new uh, combination of uh, bonuses. So that's the uh, second uh, big part about the uh, score attacks. The next part would be the uh, cools. So let's go back to the uh, scoring right here. So as you can see here, it says I have 16 fines. Now the fines, the way that they work is, let's say uh, you get a fine on a single note, that counts as one fine. But uh, let's go find right here. These uh, double notes, let me see if I get a fine on any of these here. Yep, so right there I got a fine on a double note. Even though at the end of the score, they say that that was only one fine, the points wise that you have lost compared to a cool was actually worth two fines. So in reality, even though this is uh, 16 fines, let's say you know six of the fines that I uh, did on here was actually double notes, then in reality, I actually have 22 fines worth of uh, points. And that's a big deal because each fine compared to a cool is worth about 500 points, uh, give or take. And that, that really adds up. So when you are trying to go for your really good scores, really, really be careful with the double, triple, especially the quad notes. If you get a fine, that's, that's worth four fines. If you could get a, a fine on a quad note, so be very careful. That's something just to mentally watch out when you're uh, playing the song. And uh, just to you know keep an eye on it. If you are gonna replay the song multiple times, then you can set that as your benchmark. If I get a fine on a, you know, a triple or a quad note, then I'll just reset, because that was a, like a ton of fines added. Things like that, that's another benchmark. Okay, the next section is going to be for the, um, the cools and how the cools appear on the screen. So let's... Uh, let me go back here. So this knowledge was uh, actually brought to me by the uh, kind of like the Project Eva Wikipedia on Facebook. I'll link uh, his Facebook below. It's got cool fun facts and stuff. This is actually the picture that he made. He's got a official or he's got a, like a whole uh, website and forums too with the Wikipedia. Really cool. I'm sure uh, most of you guys have seen it. I'll link it down below too so you guys can check it out. But uh, this is the picture that he did for his uh, Facts Friday. And 
because you'll notice this right away, the timing for Future Tone, not just due to the 60 frames per second, so it's really smooth looking for the notes, but the timing that you're allowed to hit a note, like that's the, the difference between a cool and a fine, is a lot larger. They give you a lot more room. So something that you might have thought should have counted as a fine would have actually been a, a cool if you compare it to like F second for example to Future Tone. So because of that reason, they actually split the cool into three types of cools. And how you can tell which type of cool it is, again, most likely when you're actually playing the song, you won't be able to tell. But if you record your own gameplay, or if you're watching somebody else's uh, like really ins insane high score video, you can uh, check for certain crucial parts of the video to see what type of cool they did. So I can't show you my cursor here unfortunately, but if you look at the top cool, you can see how the top half of the words cool is kind of like a lighter yellow, and the bottom half of the cool is a darker yellow. And it's slanted, uh, starting from the left side is uh, slanted down uh, low, and it, it goes up. And this is how you know that the cool is an early cool. This basically, uh, the game is letting you know that this cool that you hit is the earliest possible timing you could have hit to land it as a uh, early cool. And the one in the middle, if it's a straight, perfectly balanced line, that's uh, right in the middle, exactly cool. And the last one is the uh, tardily cool, or late cool, I like to say it. And you can see it slopes down from the left side to the right side. So why is this important? Most of the time, the exactly cool is useless. We don't care about that. What we do care about is whether the cool is early or not. So let's go back to my video here. So whenever you start a uh, hold note, such as this, when, like you saw, most of the times for the hold notes, you, uh, we can't actually get it to a maximum bonus. We have to break it in between, unfortunately. Here's an example. We got uh, a quad note uh, bonus going right now, but it's about to be broken with the triangle, just like that. So it never managed to reach the maximum bonus. But this is the main reason why many players, even if they all have zero finds, all cools, their score are still completely different because of this mechanic right here. Had I started the uh, cool or the holds here, so I believe that one leads to this one to the quad. So you can see here, this was a late cool for me, which is not good. <coughs> Basically, I lost a couple of uh, mi microseconds or milliseconds, I'm not sure, probably milliseconds, due to the fact that I didn't hit this as early as possible. And this uh, little timer right here, you can see it starts counting right away. It, it counts pretty fast, already 300 points just uh, from like a couple of milliseconds right there. Had I started this with an uh, early cool, I would have got a couple more hundred points. So by starting your holds as early as possible with the early cool, usually that gives you the best possible points in terms of your holds. And this is the main reason why a lot of times, uh, I remember back then for Meltdown uh, Extra Extreme when I was uh, uh, versing the Soul Rebel and we kept like fighting each other <laughs> with the uh, the fines. Like uh, he would get you know three fines and then I would get two fines and stuff like that. And eventually it got down to, uh, he got uh, three fines, and I got two fines, but I still lost to him because he did a lot more of these early cools than I did. So that really sucked. So sometimes even if you do the holds better, you can still beat someone else, despite them doing the exact same technique as you. But uh, their cools just was, wasn't as cool as you, as you could say. And obviously when you uh, are about to break it, you, uh, the maximum uh, points possible would be to get a late cool on this note that breaks this combo right here. So let's see what I got. So I did a late cool on this triangle, so that was good. But uh, the first note, I didn't get an early cool, which would have been the maximum uh, points right there. It gets even more complicated than that, unfortunately. <laughs> For some songs, sometimes the uh, early cool is not the best, but and f uh, a fine to get that even earlier uh, advantage is even better, actually. Uh, we don't have to worry about that uh, in most of the videos that I'm going to upload, but for a couple songs, if you really care about getting that number one, that's it's going to come down to that. So you're going to have to, on purpose, get an early fine on uh, those notes. But most of you guys, I don't think you're going to have to worry about that, but that's just fun uh, knowledge so that you kind of understand how that works. Okay, so let's, let's have a comparison to see the difference between someone that just perfects this song by just doing every whole note 
in order as they see as they would do uh, naturally versus this uh, score attack method that I've done. So let's have a look here. So this is the score attack method. I only got 99.86% because you know I got a bunch of uh, worse than wrong. So that's definitely gonna hinder the percentage right there. So, but all we care about is the points because that's how the online uh, ranking works. So we got 856,000 points. We'll round it off, make it easier. Okay. Let's have a look here at the uh, other recording I've done where I just did uh, every single whole note as it came up in order and I got a perfect. Okay, well, let's get down to the bottom right here. Uh, oops, uh, put that there. So you can see here, almost 5% higher, 104.65%. That's because I got a perfect, I didn't make any mistakes, and I got more cools, upping my percentage much more. I also uh, did two less fines than my score attack method, but check this out, I only have 838,000 points. This is uh, 20,000 points less almost. So that just shows you, 20,000 points is a, a ton, just to give you an idea. Had, um, remember, the difference between someone's uh, cools is usually about 500 points roughly for a cool. So to make up 20,000 points in cools, it's not possible. Even someone got all cools on this song with all holds the, in order, they would still not even be close to beating my score attack method. So it's because of this reason, you're going to have to uh, study score attacks for each song, unfortunately. Instead of just going for a regular perfect. Granted, you don't. Uh, granted, this is if you care again about the online rankings. Some of you guys won't care at all, but maybe some of you guys will care. You know, get that little edge over your buddies to be like, "Yo, man, I got it perfect." Hey, what'd you get on this song? And then they look at your uh, score and they're like, "What the fuck? <laughs> How'd you get so much more than me? I got a perfect. What kind of super perfect did you get?" So. That's something you can show off to your friends. Unless they see this video too, then they'll be like, Oh, I know what you've been doing. You sneaky. <laughs> uh, okay, my last tip for you guys is the uh, strategy for the hold bonus. So, let's go back to this one section here. Now, this is very, very, uh, somewhat important. Uh, this is one section that I did not do. Here it is. Here this one, I believe. Yep, this is it. Okay. So, again, this game is imported from the arcade. Because it's imported from the arcade, the arcade only has four physical buttons that you can hit. And it's because of that reason. Let's say we were, we were playing on the arcade machine and this part of the song came up. So it's an X and O. We gotta push them together at the same time and hold them down. So when we're holding that down, when this next note comes up, which is a circle, right, we, we have to basically let go of the button of these two really really quickly and as without wasting uh, as much like as fast as you possibly can to tap this uh, circle to continue the combo but that little time that you take to let go of this circle to tap this circle again that is time that you wasted in the these uh, bonus points that was racking up while you're holding down this so in future tone because of having you know on top of uh, double the buttons, we have the D-pad and the face buttons, but we also get the macros for the triggers if you macro it to doubles or quadruples. Uh, my technique is the quadruples. Again, if you saw my uh, controller tutorial, you would understand uh, how that works. The maximum strategy when you play pretty much every song is when you hold down the, um, the hold note right here, you would want to quickly switch over to some macro or some method to hold down those hold uh, points so that when you hit this button right here using a brand new face button to break that combo this basically ensures that you wasted no timing whatsoever at all with the hold points racking up apart from whether it's an early cool or a uh, late cool like I was explaining earlier uh, in this particular recording, I didn't uh, do that. I just held down the two buttons with my D-pad and my uh, face button, and then I let go really quick and quickly hit the face button again <laughs> because I didn't want to risk holding down the trigger in between this uh, short timing for my uh, recording. But uh, had I was had I been more serious uh, with the score, I would have definitely aimed for holding down my trigger in between to get the uh, whole notes. So that's another tip for you guys. Okay, I think that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something new. And uh, if not, mm, hope you enjoy the video anyways. 
and to most this is mostly for the people that are going to be playing uh, competitively on the English version when they get it. But it, it never hurts to uh, have this extra knowledge. Uh, just for my YouTube update though, I will be making a brand new playlist on my main uh, homepage on YouTube and I will be labeling it score attack so in the month of December I'll try to do one video per day of a song that has score attack and uh, so you can get a little heads up uh, idea of how you uh, are supposed to play that song for the maximum points when the game does come out don't worry if you can't do it right away I definitely did not even think about doing this when I first got the game I was just you know trying to figure out how to even do the doubles but it all comes in time and it can't hurt to have a head start uh, so you can learn this uh, the right way much faster rather than putting it till much later but that's it for it to today's uh, tutorial thank you guys and have a good day